Hey, what's going on guys? Adam here with my final review of macOS 10.7 Lion. I've been using Lion as my main operating system on my MacBook Pro for a couple weeks now, ever since the final developer beta was released. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down Lion by all the main new features, telling you guys what I think, and altogether if Lion is worth the $30 price point. So let's begin. So guys, the first main new feature in Lion is Mission Control. Mission Control combines a few of the main features in Lion together. So it combines expose, it combines spaces, it also combines dashboard into one view. Uh, now this is actually easily my favorite new feature in Lion, and I really like how Apple set up Mission Control. The one thing I don't like about it is how they stack the windows on top of each other. They're a little bit hard to get to, uh, but basically I've split my entire computer up into a few different of these spaces which are pretty easy you just take a window drag it to the upper right hand corner and it'll create a space altogether i found mission control to be kind of addictive which is kind of a strange term to use i've spent a lot more time using spaces now in line which i never really used in the past it makes it a lot easier with mission control to use the spaces it combines them with multi-touch gestures with your trackpad and altogether with mission control it brings a lot of old features from prior versions of mac os 10 into one which is really cool in my opinion so guys, the next new feature in Lion is Launchpad. Launchpad is a feature that at first I wasn't really the biggest fan of, to be honest, but after using Lion for a few weeks now, I have found myself using it quite a bit. Launchpad basically is the springboard on your iOS device, so you have a gridded view of all your different applications, and you know, I basically just keep it in my dock, and there's also a way to get to it using your trackpad. And altogether, I organized it, I have all my stuff in folders, and it looks really nice, and I think it's a really solid way of, instead of using Finder or Spotlight to find an application, to just go straight to Launchpad. So guys, the next main feature in line is the full screen applications. There's quite a few applications built into the computer that are full screen. They actually do have the full screen functionality. Basically, just scroll to the top of a window and click that little button in the top right corner, and your app will now be in full screen. You can easily sort through these through mission control, using your trackpad, and all of that. And altogether, you know, it's very nice to have the full screen apps. Nothing major, but it's a cool new feature to have nonetheless. So guys, moving along, there's resume, auto saves, and versions. All three of these kind of go together when it comes to document editing. However, the first thing I want to cover is resume. Resume basically makes it so every single time you close an application and reopen it, whether or not it crashes, you turn off your computer or whatever, the application will be exactly where it was before. So I do find this useful somewhat, however, it's more of an annoyance in general for me, and it was one of the features in line I wasn't really the biggest fan of, and I have turned it off in system preferences. The next features here are autosaves and versions. Autosaves and versions basically allows you to completely autosave your documents such as in pages or text edit, you actually can scroll over the title, you can actually click browse all versions, and with versions, you can look at all the different versions of your documents in the past. These autosave every couple of minutes, plus you can manually save and just view the versions in the past. Altogether, I found this very, very useful. I really like this feature, even though I don't do too much document editing, but I'm sure a lot of you guys will really like the feature along with Resume. So guys, other new features in the line include a completely redesigned photo booth application for full screen mode. So you have your little curtains on the side, you have some new effects, and it's a really nice update in general. There's also a redesigned Mail 5 application, which makes it a lot more iPad-like, and it's a pretty decent upgrade. There's actually a way to make it the old Mail by just going into the preferences of the application. So altogether, not really the biggest update in the world. However, I do like the new user interface. So guys, altogether, for the $30 price point, I definitely do recommend Lion. Altogether, it did take me a few weeks to get used to it, and it probably will for you guys as well. But I really like what Apple is doing with the whole mission control, launch pad, and uh, the combining with the spaces, dashboard, and all that. I think it makes it a lot more iOS-like, which is good and bad. I personally think I really do like what Apple is doing with making it more iOS-like. I know some people don't like it, but like I said, it takes a few weeks to get used to. And altogether, I've been using the new features in line for my advantage with the new spaces, plus a new resume, autosaves, and versions. And I'd highly recommend the upgrade if you haven't already. So guys, if you have any further questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section below. Be sure to like this video if it helped you guys out, and subscribe for more content. Thanks a lot for watching.